Hi, my name's Spencer. Um, I help run the track here in Santa Barbara. I'm a student, a mechanical engineering student at UCSB now. I've been working on RC cars for like 12 years. Um, but I didn't, you know, I didn't get good at nitro until like six years ago. I sort of messed up stuff a lot, uh, which I think, you know, there's an obvious learning curve. But I've come up with this break-in technique that I learned, you know, I watched somebody do it, but without all the heat, heat guns and stuff like that. They didn't heat the motors up. So the idea behind this technique is you rich in the heck out of the main needle and you run it at full throttle. And it will blubber, like tons of oil will come out. You'll go through a tank of fuel in about three minutes, three minutes, 30 seconds. You have to keep this thing on, which is called the heat. It's at, uh, let's see, it's at 280. So the heat's at 280. It only keeps the engine at 170, which is not warm enough. Almost there. And so what I use to supplement that is a heat gun. Uh, this thing, it's 900 watts. It's a top flight heat gun. So the air coming out of here is about 460 degrees. You know, this thing we just saw was like 280, and the engine will still run at 200 degrees. Uh, the reason you want to heat these things up is because you want the sleeve to expand, you want to break these in properly, then you want to get rid of that pinch. If you don't get rid of the pinch, you, you know, it's not really broken in. Uh, and when it, that, what that pinch does is it stretches out the bottom of your connecting rod. Um, so all these, you know, all the previous techniques, or you know, the good old technique of start it, let it, let it idle the first tank, drive it around, slow and then pick up the pace, pick up the pace. No, your engine's running at like 120 degrees and it's just suffering. So what we do here is uh, I'm gonna heat this thing up now because I'm gonna heat up about 250 or 260. Because as soon as the fuel hits, it's going to uh, cool it down a lot. They prime it. Uh, radio's on. You have to take the radio and your hold them together with one hand so you can give it throttle and hold the heat gun. Uh, and you have the temp gun in the other hand. We're only at 2.30 right now. This is sort of our uh, break-in car at the moment. It needs some attention. There's your screwdriver, wherever the heck my igniter went. Let's see where we're at. Alright, I'm at 2.75, so I like that. We start it up and I'm going to ease into full throttle. So, you can start at full throttle, but, you know, it's not as good. And the way you adjust the idle, or your engine speed now, when you're at full throttle, the only way to adjust the engine speed is with your main needle. Lean it out, the speed goes up, rich in it, the speed goes down, I'll show you that. top end. Lean it out a bit. It'll probably come around anyways.
amount of fuel. We shut off the electronics. And now you're going to remove your heating devices, your turn them off, plug them, so you can heat cycle it. And then uh, so right now we're at down to 194. These things cool off fast. Uh, flip it over, make sure you're not at top dead center so that it doesn't cool down with the piston up at the top of the cylinder where it's tapered. Uh, yeah, so let it cool down. Do run about six or seven tanks through it, whatever you think is uh, necessary. This is obviously not a video for beginners. This is to you know show another technique. I know people that use this. They don't quite. They don't really heat it up. They just run them cold. So I suggest you heat it up. It's been working very well. Um, after the six or seven tanks, go ahead and run it. Uh, take it to the track. Run it on the street start tuning it, make sure you keep it warm, so I usually put a sock around it, and for the next like four tanks, the sock will keep the engine warm. Um, what else? Uh, let's see. Yeah, so normally, so this is a Ninja, you know, new piston, sleeve, connecting rod, bearings, fly, flywheels, new uh, carb, re carb rebuild. This thing, I have one right now, this is the second one I'm breaking in, I, I did the same thing to it, and you know, they, it just, the motors work really well. It runs between 200 and 230, and when it's at 230, it is screaming, just absolutely screaming. So uh, yeah, um, look, check out the blog, there's not much nitro stuff on it right now, it's more just slash and electric stuff, because I haven't gotten to the nitro. It is easyrc.blogspot.com. Uh, yeah. Enjoy the technique, watch it again. Really listen to the sound the motor's making, and uh, because I, I usually go by sound and the wheel's spinning, it's, it's, you get used to it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.